Hey guys, what's up? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to view properties and add fields to your uh, Navisworks Manage 2018. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. So what I'm going to use is the sample Revit 2018 uh, project. Okay, of course you can find it on the samples folder in your Navisworks. Oh, I mean in the Revit folder. Right, so let's say for example you want to add or you want to check the properties of the object. Let's say for example I'm going to zoom in my model. Okay, I'll go ahead and let's say I'm going to select this stair here. So I'm going to click this, make sure select tool is selected. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And then one thing that you need to turn on, of course, if you want to check out the properties of the object is from the Home tab, Display Panel, you can click there the Properties, okay? You can click the Properties and then it will show you here the property. So as you can see, you have here different tabs that you can check on regarding on that selected element, okay? So there's the Material, Element ID, okay? So these are... Uh, properties that you are seeing there properties from Revit okay as you can see there's a Revit type tab here okay so let's say for example you want to add additional information to your uh, stair for example okay you want to add it here in Navisworks uh, manage no problem so at Navisworks uh, we can add custom fields to any object that is not inherent to the program that publish the object such as let's say Revit or AutoCAD so by adding a new user data tab we can actually add a new tab to the properties dialog here okay and you can start adding custom parameters to that new tab for any object you may have selected okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click any part of the properties so this is how you add so just right click any part of your properties window and then you can see here add new user data uh, data tab okay and then you just need to click this arrow you can actually adjust the size or the width of your window okay as you can see there's the tab the data that i have added okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to right click in the field here and then we're going to insert a new property. So just right click there. And let's take a look at the four different properties here. So insert new property. So we have four options here. So if you are familiar with programming. So if we want to add a string, we're going to add a text field. Okay. A, bo a boolean, this one, a boolean is a simple yes or no call out. So if it is a float, it will be a decimal number. If it is an integer, it is a whole number. Okay. So what we are going to do is let us add one of, one of each. All right. So I'm going to select the string here, insert new property, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the string. Okay. And then I'm going to add here the property. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to type in here uh, railing type. Okay, and then enter. And then for the value, okay, you can you can double click this portion or you can right click and there should be an option here. Edit property value. Okay, so you can click this and then you can add here the uh, value that you want. Let's say for example this is uh, 1.6 uh, 1. inch let's say a uh, tube railing all right so i'm going to select here okay there you go so you just added your string parameter to that uh, element that you selected okay now for the field now so i'm going to add another property insert new property okay and then and after that so this time i'm going to select the boolean okay boolean okay so for the property i'm going to key in here let's say uh, galvanized enter and like what i have said when you say boolean it's actually yes or no 
Okay. So again, you can double click this portion here to edit, right? You can double click that or you can right click. Uh, where's the edit here? Set value. Okay. This one. And then you can select no. You can select yes. Okay. So that is our uh, that is for our uh, boolean. Now, so what we are going to do here is we're going to add another property. I'm going to right click. I'm going to insert new property, and this time I'm gonna go ahead and select float. Okay, it gives you a decimal number. Okay, so for this one, let's say I'm going to key in here risers, and then for the value, just double click again this portion here. And then I can type here, let's say, uh, 7.5. And then, okay. There you go. Okay. And then last but not the least, I'm going to go add here a whole number, which is an integer. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Okay. So for the landings, okay. Enter. So I'm just going to pick this, double click. And just go ahead and pick and type 1 for the value or whatever is that that you want to add to that one. Okay. So if you want to modify, just double click. Okay. So remember, this new tab and parameters are just for the are just for that object that you have selected. So to add the same data to multiple objects, so make sure you select them in selection tree. Remember this? and select them all at once so make sure they are all selected first okay so that's it for this uh, short video tutorial so hopefully this has been uh, helpful to you guys so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have any comments questions or suggestions just put it in the comment section below okay so once again thank you for watching have a nice day